The next item is the event initial report regarding a fire near Denison Mines property and Quirk Lake, as outlined in CMD uh, 16M36. And I understand that uh, we have uh, Mr. Ludgate from uh, Denison Mind, who is joining us via a teleconference. Um, uh, Mr. Lud Ludgate, can you hear us? Yes, I can, and it's Ian Ludgate. Ludgate, sorry. No problem. Um, so now seeing this stuff, uh, we'll make a short uh, presentation or speak to the, or make some comments. And I understand Ms. Glenn, you're gonna do it? Over to you. Good morning, my name is Corinne Glenn and I'm the director of the Waste and Decommissioning Division here at the CNSC. I'm here today along with CNSC staff to answer any questions that you may have on the May 24th fire that took place in the vicinity of Denison Mines in the Elliott Lake area, as described in CMD 16M36. Before answering any questions, I would like to provide a brief update on the event. CNSC staff have received the report from the Elliott Lake Fire Service. Their investigation has determined that the cause of the fire was the result of a tree that had fallen onto a power line just offside of the CNSC licensed property. The licensee, Denison Mine, has undertaken a review of the event and this, uh, their report is expected to be completed by June 30th. We're now available to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. Let's start with Monsieur Harvey. What uh, could have been the effect or impact of uh, fire over the tailing? Uh, it's Ian Ludgate here. Is that a question for me? Uh, anybody that? Yes. Um, there, there would be no um, uh, impact on the uh, tailings management area because the uh, the tailings management management area is decommissioned and it has a one meter water cover over the tailings. Thank you. Well, I don't have any other question to say that the the, the job has been well done. <laughs> the fire is extinguished quite quickly. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Velshi. Thank you. Yeah, I too just have a very short question. There is somewhere in the report that says that the fire department contacted the MNR to clarify responsibilities. I was a little surprised why there would be a need to clarify responsibilities. Do you want to comment on that? Uh, and Denison Mines, question to you. Uh, Ian Ludgate at Denison. Um, I think there was uh, initially uh, some uh, doubt as to whether uh, the fire was uh, in uh, the jurisdiction of the of the Elliott Lake uh, Fire Department or whether it was outside of the jurisdiction. It did uh, occur very quickly following a conversation between the Elliott Lake Fire Department and the uh, Ministry of Natural Resources that uh, that support was immediately uh, needed and the MNR um, uh, very cooperatively uh, dispatched uh, um, manpower and equipment uh, uh, very quickly. Thank you. Uh, I have just one. You were saying that the tree fall on the power line. Uh, usually, hydro they have a preventive power line maintenance, which calls for a, a, f a tree cutting or debranching to make sure that the tree doesn't fall on the power line. So this power line was coming from a <coughs> to to the property. Who was responsible? for maintenance of this power line. Corinne Glenn, for the record, the, the, uh, the area where the tree fell on the line was not on the Denison property. Um, 
and it was a Hydro, a hydro One uh, power line. They have a right of way and they are responsible for tree clearing around the power lines. And uh, this uh, right of way had been cleared uh, in, as recently as 2013. That, uh, which means that 2013 to today is three years, and uh, it's <laughs> the bush was growing very fast. <laughs> so uh, they should they call uh, the, the, the Denison should call f to Hydro to clean the, those things, or what's the consequence uh, uh, for uh, what the Hydro's position was? Uh, following this incident. Uh, Corinne Glenn, for the record, once again, they, the area where the tree fell was not on the Denison property, therefore it was on property that uh, was, I believe, Crown land um, outside of the Denison site, and therefore it was not Denison's responsibility to monitor the hydro and power lines outside of their uh, facility. Um, the report was only uh, obtained uh, late last week. Uh, and I maybe Mr. Ludgate has um, an update regarding uh, if, whether or not Hydro One has responded to this, but uh, CNSC staff do not. Uh, Ian Ludgate, uh, for the record, um, uh, Hydro One has uh, responded and re and replaced the pole uh, or a pole uh, near the area where uh, the the tree had apparently fallen onto the the power line, and. Uh, these, uh, this is one of the questions that uh, uh, we will be uh, trying to answer in the next couple of days uh, while we uh, repair, uh, prepare our uh, final report and uh, lessons learned uh, for, uh, for the CNSC. Dr. McEwen. So do you plan to give us an update on that final report? Uh, Ian Ludgate, for the record, yes, I've committed uh, to have the report uh, uh, to the project officer's hands uh, by the end of this month. Corinne Glenn, for the record, uh, CNS staff will report on this event, as is the current practice in our regulatory oversight report. Thank you. Any other comment? Um, just, uh, I, I think our staff did the licensee and staff did a real good uh, work here. Uh, any any particular lesson that um, that uh, you would do otherwise uh, improve on, or that's a good test drive to a potential disaster, right? Uh, we had two of them now in Fort McMurray and this one. Any lessons from your side? And by the way, did you get a lot of hit on? Um, on our uh, both the licensee website and CNSC website, when we posted uh, this information, Corinne Glenn, for the record, no, there was very little interest that was generated from this event. Uh, it was responded to in a very quickly. Uh, CNSC staff are pleased with the licensee's response in this case. Uh, they collaborated fully with uh, the first responders, uh, were very proactive in their actions, uh, and the fire was extinguished within three hours. Um, the local media did have it on their Facebook page, and again, it generated very little uh, interest. We had no inquiries from the media uh, at the CNSC regarding this event. Um, as for any lessons learned, we have already, uh, as a result of the fires last year uh, in Saskatchewan, uh, taken a look uh, at emergency response for remote sites. And uh, we are following up with licensees to ensure that their uh, emergency management programs on site are if, um, adequate and uh, effective at uh, specifically for sites where there are staff located in remote areas for evacuation and, and uh, that area of uh, response. But uh, with a site, uh, for instance, uh, like the Dennis and Mine site, where there's no staff on site, uh, we're very satisfied with the licensee's response. Thank you. Thank you.